in Bulgaria, but I grew up in Boston. Um, I just finished a master's in international educational development and policy and planning. So I got really interested. I was doing a project about the Dominican Republic and specifically about Haitian migrants in the Dominican Republic and Bates. And um, I started doing all this research and decided to contact a bunch of organizations. So I contacted Dream and it just so happened to be that they needed a literacy teacher and it worked out really well. So I came here, this was two summers ago, for the first time for a month. I fell in love with the place and I've been here since. Um, my focus is on literacy. So I, what I did when I first came down here during the first summer camp, I thought literacy. Um, it depends on, we work with kids from ranging from age eight up to 16. So their needs are very different. Uh, with some, with lower groups, I focus on letter recognition, sound recognition, just beginning literacy. And then with some of the older kids, we focus on, I don't know what the literacy rate, I can't give you an exact number. What I can tell you from my experience with the public school is that um, it's not, there aren't set standards like you might find in the US. So you have many kids mixed in. You know, it really depends and it's, once kids fall behind, it's really hard for them to catch up. And the reality of the public school here is very different. When you're in a classroom, you know, 40 kids, you're one teacher and you know, the noise and everything, it's very hard to assess all the different needs and, and you know, catch the kids who are falling behind. So what I found is that a lot of kids, there are a lot of kids who sneak by and pass grades. And then you find out that there's a sixth grader who doesn't know his letters. So as long as like, and kids learn, kids learn to they you know, pretend like they know, pay attention, be quiet, and then you, before you know it, they, you know, they get up to, I don't know, fifth, sixth grade, and still somebody realizes um, they can't read. I see kids, especially the older kids who are struggling readers who I know, you know, I know are the ones that are hiding in the public school, that are really ashamed of what's happening, and they kind of like completely change their attitude about learning. And then when you get, when you work with them, and you know, they actually begin to value, you know, how important it is to learn and they want to and they admit to you they can't but they want to and then those are the kids that will stay after school every day and like sit down with you and read and you see that all of a sudden like they have this new passion they want to again like they're given a second chance and they take control over it all over again like they're reminded to be kids again it's very inspiring and it's very very meaningful